the Ericaism of the day. And I want to give you just a little excerpt out of my book, More Than Pretty, that you can get right now. Are you creating a space in your life for God to bring the changes he has for you? Or are you holding on to the things in your past that once defined you? I want to talk to everybody who just want to go back. I just want to go back to the old way and I just want to go back. And, wow. and I feel like we serve a creative God that is always doing new things. There was not another Noah. There was not another Moses. There was not another Abraham or wow. David. So whoever you are, God wants to do something new. And you keep remembering your a wonderful, awesome years of your childhood. And listen, I love growing up in church and I exactly. love, you know, the Bible studies and the prayer meetings and all that. But it's a, it's a new day. God's anointing still extends to this time. Right. And so while a lot of people I feel uh, are trying to just remember they, they heyday, you know how people had a heyday, like when they was real fresh in their remember, younger years. Remember when I was. Yeah, and then now you're too old to be dressing like that, but you're still dressing like that. Because in your <laughs> mind, that was the last time you was fresh. Oh my. Let's, let's progress and move forward, That's you know. Good. That's good. God has a way of reaching everybody that he needs to reach. And he's going to use us to do it. And so if we're so busy looking at the past and remembering the former days and not embracing the todays and even expecting and getting excited for our tomorrows, yes. then how can we really... But pu push God's agenda, God's purpose, God's no, plan moving forward. forward. Let me read Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do not, do you not perceive it? Am I making a way? I am making a way in the wilderness, wilderness, streams in the wasteland. God has called us to let go of the former things so we can cling on to our new identity in Christ. This even goes for people who, you know, maybe you didn't grow up in church and you just got saved and the enemy keeps reminding you of who you were and what you did and, you know, how bad it was. And you can't be a preacher because you did this and you can't be a woman of God because you was in jail and you can't because you was on drugs. Listen, God used the most broken people and yes, put their did. pieces together yes, for did. his glory. So it goes to show you once God wipes the slate clean, once he forgives you and cleanses you, you walk in that freedom. You Amen. walk in that deliverance okay. and don't let anybody hold you hostage to where you've been. And don't you hold yourself hostage mm. to where you've been. Well, they're not going to forget I. I used to be the one to steal all the time. You know? Well, listen, if you ain't stealing no more, Amen. Right, then Move you go forward. ahead. There's a, There's a change. There's a change. There's a change. Embrace that change and be free and walk into that newness. Amen. All right. Was that all right? Newness well, of born life. All right. Newness of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was get up right. <laughs> I love them. All right, y'all. That's my Erica-ism.